Now I want to move into something, and, and we'll keep this one brief, but I want to move into something that shows that this question of the expanding of the universe, there is no consensus on it. Uh, and they, it's looking like now they might have got some of their numbers wrong. Uh, so at space.com, there's uh, a, a, head, a headline that that's, the universe is expanding so fast that we might need new physics to explain it. Uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because it's, re it's really just to prove the point that no one really knows. So this is a big mystery. It's a big question. And there's not a consensus. There's a lot of different ways to look at it. Um, so apparently, as the article says, the universe is expanding faster than expected, suggesting that astronomers may have to incorporate some new physics into their theories of how the cosmos work, uh, the new study reports. The revised expansion rate is about 10 times faster, or 10%, excuse me, 10% faster than that predicted by observations of the universe's traje trajectory shortly after the Big Bang, according to this new research. The study also significantly reduces the probability that this disparity is a coincidence from 1 in 3,000 to just 1 in 100,000. So Adam Reese, uh, professor of physics and astronomy at the John Hopkins University of uh, Baltimore, says uh, in a statement, this mis- Quote, this mismatch has been growing and now reached a point that is really impossible to dismiss as a fluke, uh, end quote. Uh, now, he also said, uh, quote, this is not what we expected, uh, end quote. And he, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2011 um, for showing in the 90s that the universe's expansion is accelerating. So he, he was one of these. It, it's unclear what's driving this acceleration or apparent acceleration, but many astronomers uh, say that it's dark energy. And we haven't really got into dark energy yet in this video, but we have talked about it a lot. Uh, so their explanation is, well, it's some mysterious energy that's doing it. We don't know what it is, so let's call it dark, dark energy. Uh, and that's really about all they know. But, but again, it might not be that. It, it could just be an illusion. It could be an illusion due to the relativity of time. Uh, it, it could have something to do with that. But the, the, this is just to show that there, there isn't a consensus on how fast that, expand, that, it's, that it's expanding. Even more than that, there's another article here that we can look at that there's not even a, a consensus that it's expanding at all. So some physicists say that the universe is not expanding at a, a, an accelerated rate. Uh, so um, there were three astronomers that were awarded the Nobel Prize. Okay, so we talked about that already. Uh, about this accelerating rate thing. Um, but there are some now that don't believe that it's expanding at an accelerated rate, that it is expanding, but it, it's, it's, not an, it's not accelerating. The, the expansion isn't accelerating, it's decelerating. So a Royal Swedish Academy, uh, as the Royal Swedish Academy explained on the morning of the Nobel Prize announcement in Stockholm, in a universe which is dominated by matter, one would expect gravity eventually should make the expansion slow down. Imagine then the utter astonishment when the groups of scientists discovered that the expansion was not slowing down but was actually accelerating. All right, so that, that, that's like basically what was discovered. But now an international team of physicists have questioned the acceleration of the universe's expansion uh, because they have a, a lot bigger database of type 1a supernovae, which are used to measure the acceleration of the expansion of the universe. Now there's a much bigger database than what was available in the 90s when this was first done. So they, they've been applying it, and this team has said that they've been able to account for the subtle differences between them like never before. Uh, and, and it goes on to say that they, they actually believe that it's not accelerating, that the, um, the evidence for accelerated expansion is at most what physicists call three sigma, which is far short of the five sigma standard required to claim a discovery. Uh, so everything in science is based on statistics and things like that. So statistically, something is true, and they need a high percentage of... Uh, statistical probability to call something a discovery, and they, they base that in sigma. So if you have read my book, Abbott on Ascending, you already know all, all of this. If not, you can get the book and uh, uh, you can learn about it there. Uh, but if, if they discover, let's say they have a three sigma amount of statistical probability that a particle exists, they would not call that a discovery of a new particle. They need a five sigma. So what they're saying is, the idea that the universe is expanding at an accelerated rate is only three sigma. So that should not be counted as a discovery. 
Uh, now, you know, they're, they're going to do more research into it, and they're, they're going to look into it, and, you know, we'll have to wait and see. And, of course, we will stay on top of that story here on Another Multiverse. Uh, but it, it just goes to show that there is no consensus that the universe is expanding um, at an accelerated rate or even what that accelerated rate would be. 